Hello, I'm Wendy Mitchell. I'm a programmer at Lübeck Nordic Film Days. And we've had one very, very special guest with us this year, which is the legendary Norwegian actress, filmmaker, writer, Liv Ullmann. Thank you so much for being with us in Lübeck. Uh, you've been the honorary president of Lübeck Nordic Film Days for 40 years, I hear. What is special about this film festival in Lübeck to you? To me, it's getting more and more special each time I'm here. And this time, I, I think it's 40 years since the first time I, I was here. It is so full of warmth, of love, caring for what a cinema really is, what it can give you, what it can give different ages, what it can give different fantasies and what you need. Uh, I can only say that uh, the two people I've met the most is Lauren and Thomas. I'm leaving not only madly in love with this city, with these incredible houses, mm -hmm. with the warmth and knowledge of the audience, but I'm also in love with both Thomas and Lauren, and I feel like I just cannot wait to come back. Wow. It is such a generous city with all its history, and you see its history. You see the history, you touch these bricks. Yeah, there. absolutely. It's amazing. Um, the two men you just mentioned, one is Lauren Dietrich, who works with the industry and the guests, and the other is Thomas Heiler, the festival director, who is amazing. And I have to say, I think you've been even busier at this festival than Thomas, because you've been presenting the new documentary about your life. You've been here as an executive producer of Margaret Olin's uh, Songs of Earth, which is this beautiful film that's the Norwegian Oscar submission this year. You've been meeting with young filmmakers. You've been on stage presenting awards. And one of the very special moments is today, I was able to see the 1959 film, The Wayward Girl, part of the youth retrospective here at Lübeck. And it was your first big film role. You were, I think, 20 years old. It was my only. Your I first. was an extra in another okay. film. Yeah. And what does it mean to you? I to was 18. 18, even younger than I thought. Oh my goodness. And you're just luminous in this role as you are today. What does it mean to you that there's an audience here in Lübeck watching The Wayward Girl? Is that a special moment for you? It is a special moment because it's really like 64 years ago and and since i have this image on in my inside i'm still a young girl of 13 and i often experience things with that surprise and and the curiosity as a 13 year old mm. i did a movie and i was the lead 65 years ago it also gives me a story about my life that I'm experiencing all to myself. Now I'm talking mm. about it to you, yeah. but I'm experiencing in my life, this is where I am. Uh, and I suddenly remembered so much from the movie, which I had forgotten. Mm. I think to be part of the movie land, and I know from my own age, when I was 13 and so, the movies I saw, how much they were part of who I am as a human being and as an artist. Uh, I've learned a new lesson here, mm. and I still don't know what it is, but I know when I go home now, uh, I will get to know, and I maybe I'll, I'll write about it. Oh, I, without yeah, that. Just an article, because I'm leaving with a strange kind of love to a, to a city, to an idea about what we want to offer people in movies. It's not sitting in front of TV and see, let's see Netflix, click, let's see click. this, click, click, click. It is come here, experience something in the darkness of a cinema mm. and know that your life is going to change a mm. little. Uh, thank you for this mm. 
days. And don't tell Thomas that you say, I have more to do than him, because actually I mentioned that for him. I think I'm working harder than you. Oh, no, 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 no. He's, but he's a man, you know, they say equal, those things. Maybe, yeah. maybe equal. We'll, let, we'll <laughs> pretend he's equal. Yeah, we'll pretend. Um, another thing, a uh, special moment for some people at this festival was you gave a talk to some young filmmakers in the Future North program. What excites you about meeting these up and coming filmmakers? In a way, uh, maybe that was my best time here, meeting them. And they were so different and they were so alike. <laughs> and not only because they were young, not only because they were new, but because they were people just like me and just like you. Mm. And they came out with it, not always by talking, but sometimes by their quietness and their look now and then at somebody older sitting there and suddenly I felt accepted mm -hmm. and I accepted them. Um, it was an hour I will never forget oh, and, and I hope one way or another I will be able to see what they are making. I will be able to get to know it. They were all extraordinary. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I met them too. Seven you met them. them too? Yes, wonderful. Did you feel the same? Yes, a spark of creativity and yes. all kinds of different kind of work from animation to documentary to fiction that they're all working in their own path. But as you said, they have something in common. Yes. A passion, yes. I think. Uh, you're also here because uh, Diraj Kolkar has made a beautiful new documentary about you. Is that a strange moment for any human being to sort of look back as you look at his film? Does it make you reflect on your own life any any way differently? Yeah, it did in a way because I wasn't part of the plans. I wasn't part of making mm. the movie or telling him what he should do mm. and who he should speak to. It's a complete 100% creation from him. And, there were, and then he would come to Norway, he would come to England, mm. or he would come to Los Angeles or Boston or wherever, Find New you. York, <laughs> interviewing me a little. And sometimes I thought, oh my God, no, he's coming again. I don't know what more to say to him or whatever. And I didn't know what kind of movie this was going to be. Mm. And then I saw part of it as as period pieces, mm. uh, and I thought, is this, is, did he talk to these people? And where do they find this picture? Yes. I, the archive of it, it's amazing. Archives, I, and you know, I used to say, uh, because I had an incredible march towards uh, Cambodia, mm. where the Vietnamese were shooting mm -hmm. after us, and and a friend of Martin Luther King sang, we shall overcome and, yeah. and uh, trying to help people. And people didn't believe me, you know. People, when I said, I experienced this and they absolutely didn't believe me. And suddenly they found from Doctors found Without uh, borders. borders, they found this movie there. I was there. I stood with that man who sung, we shall overcome and we shall recognize each other. Uh, not that there are no the others, that we all are alike. I, I, I am so moved by that movie and I think he did an incredible job and he didn't tell me what he was doing. Mm -hmm. And I wondered, is, is it going It'll to work. be <laughs> more interviews with me? And most of it I had, yeah. yeah. And then he had me read from the book. I said, well, do I have... But he made this thing, and the people he asked are people that I feel a great connection with. But I didn't know they would say what they said, to be honest. It works very well, though, yes. Yeah. Um, I won't keep you all day, but I wanted to, to end just asking, as you mentioned, that what I've noticed, especially this year at Lübeck, the audience has been so engaged. So many sold out screenings, so many passionate people getting involved in all kinds of cinema. What, what has been your experience in interacting with that Lübeck audience? I feel exactly the same. Mm. You said it with words I couldn't say better. And it reminds me of when I was young and suddenly movies wasn't only sitting in a dark room 
uh, and something happening there that I didn't know about. It's that I understand that movies is a great way still of communicating with people and get us away from the TV, get us away from these little videos, get us away from this iPhone. Go there and share because you will know sitting with other people, suddenly your experience is going to be different because you will hear what is breathing and living around you too. You won't know about it, hmm. but it will happen. Liv Ullman, I think you've shared so much with us in Lubeck this week. So thank you so much for the films, the memories, the, the talking with everybody. Um, and we hope to see you again in Lubeck in many years to come. Thank you. Thank that you, would be Liv. good. <laughs> Thanks, everybody, for watching.